No spacecraft has been able to survive more than a couple of hours on the surface of Venus due to its incredibly hostile environment. It has clouds of sulfuric acid, a surface hot enough to melt lead, and a crushing atmosphere almost a hundred times the surface pressure of our own. These factors make it challenging for even the most advanced high temperature electronics to work on the planet. The only time the surface has been observed by humanity was with the Soviet Union's Venera landers, and what they found was a hellscape of sharp rocks. A robust and innovative mission would be needed to explore such an environment. Exploring Venus is a fascinating endeavour, as despite its similar size to Earth, the two planets couldn't be more different. A rover could gain greater insight into why Earth's sister planet developed such extreme conditions, and potentially help us to prevent such a runaway greenhouse effect happening to our planet. Our project is inspired by the work of NASA JPL and their Automaton Rover for Extreme Environments concept, which is a wind-powered, semi-electronic rover designed for Venus's surface. However, our project takes an entirely mechanical approach. We are designing, building and testing the movement subsystem, the obstacle detection subsystem and connecting the two, the mechanical computer. And this is where Simulink has been invaluable. The computer takes a combination of six billion inputs in the form of rods being pushed and pulled by the detection system as it moves across the terrain. If an obstacle is detected, the logic decides whether the rover should turn left or right for the rover to avoid it. This decision is implemented as a lever engaging one or both track gearboxes into reverse, depending on the manoeuvre. Individual mechanical and or and not gates, consisting of pins, joints and sliders, are relatively simple to manufacture. However, designing a circuit to produce the desired outputs based upon the inputs proved to be quite complicated. Without a visualisation and simulation tool in the form of Simulink, it would have been extremely time consuming to construct. Our original logic was very complicated with many gates and crossovers that would have been overly complex to manufacture. However, using a series of probes throughout the circuit, it was quickly simplified into what you see now. With this finalised logic, the rover can traverse the six types of obstacle it might expect to encounter on the Venusian surface. A large rock to its left. Directly in front. or to its right. It can also traverse small fissures, and avoid cliff edges. Even combinations of inputs can be handled by the deceptively simple looking circuit. With Simulink, every physically possible combination of inputs could be quickly and accurately simulated to ensure that the rover can handle any type of terrain it might encounter on the almost completely uncharted Venusian surface. Thank you for watching, and thank you to the Tank Museum, NASA JPL, and of course to MathWorks for making this project possible.